degrees. That way we get this out of the way. When we command something like 15 degrees of spark timing in our spark timing table, we're gonna get 15 degrees. We're not gonna have any kind of discrepancy going on and it's going to be very confusing of what's going on with the spark timing unless we do this. I'll also go here from the columns one through six, I'll do control P. I'll just make them all the same there. And then we have to copy this through all of the different cam angles. So zero, 15, 30, 40, 45. That's for the low cam. We're gonna have to move in here to the high cam and do the same process again. We'll start at zero. I'll make the tables all the same, essentially bypassing them in the exact same manner here. So we can see that we've simply went in there and made them all the same. This is copy and paste. Um, let's go in here to the knock retard low. We're gonna go and zero this table out completely. We don't wanna have any knock retard. We don't want the knock control doing anything because it's not going to be very, uh, very accurate in the way it's gonna be applying the knock retard. We're gonna go in, check out our knock count and be able to manually tune our spark timing tables based on what it's reg registering and showing us. So it's important that we go in and kind of zero all this out so it simplifies things greatly. Let's look through here. We have our throttle plate target table. We're not gonna change anything in here, although we could to get more throttle response. Usually, if you're gonna be going in and altering some of the values in here, we have to be careful um, that we don't go and put values too high. So if we can see here, 25% pedal movement. That's what we push in the car. And then this is gonna be commanding the plate at the engine. If we go and have it at 25% pedal, 25% plate, it'll make the car drive very, very jumpy. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about modifying this. Um, if you jumped into one of the other Honda modified files, the base maps, they may have some different values in here populated. We could simply copy some of those values into here so we can get a little bit enhanced throttle response. But again, be careful with this table. You can definitely have too much throttle response and make the car very jerky to drive. Let's go through the rest of our tables here. We're not using ethanol ignition compensation. We're not using the flex fuel feature, so we can skip that. So what we're left to with here is gonna be our fuel low and fuel high tables. So let's move into our fuel low here and let's talk about our zero degree cam angle. So this is gonna be where we do our actual linearization and modification for the file here. We're going to get this prepped, get this ready to go so that we're able to tune this out on the next video, doing our low cam optimization for fuel and spark, copy this table and paste it into our 15, 30, uh, going up here 40 and 45 degrees. So we can walk them up. We have to spend the time here on this first table. Um, so let's go in right now and go into our low cam operation. We can see we're toggled here on our number one with the ejector spray pattern. That's our, uh, our low cam zero degree. So what I'll do here is kind of go through my values. We can see we have some peaks, we have some dips, we have some peaks again. Let's linearize the table here and let's see what's gonna happen when we actually do our tuning process. So I'm gonna grab my value here, just kind of looking at my two dimensional lines, right about 1500 right here. And we can see we have a high point right about here, right about uh, looking here about 6,000. So I'll go between these two, we'll do control P. We can see it just linearize the table. So we'll copy our column